iceberg mm -hmm. of what the special counsel knows about the relationship between Trump and the Trump team and the Russians. I believe that now there is as strong or a stronger case of obstruction of justice than there was against Bill Clinton. Alan Lichtman predicted what experts, political pundits, and virtually every poll said was highly unlikely early on, that Donald Trump would become the next president of the United States. And now he's predicting that Robert Mueller's Russia probe will eventually re reveal misdeeds that are impeachment worthy. And joining me now to discuss is Alan Lichtman, presidential historian and author of The Case for Impeachment. And Alan, I think most of the people who watch this show look at Russiagate, look at the potential for obstruction and say, yes, it's self-evident that Donald Trump has done things worthy of impeachment. Where the doubt comes in, and I will include myself in this, is that Republicans would ever do it. Are you saying that Donald Trump will do something so dastardly that Democrats win the House and they impeach him, or that this House could impeach him? I think either scenario is possible. I think that the special counsel is going to come up with information that shocks the world, that shocks the country. That's going to put Republicans in the House in a difficult position. They can continue to en enable Donald Trump to overlook his very serious transgressions. Even We even know what is publicly known, uh, how serious his offenses are. If they do that, they are going to be turned out of office, the Democrats will take over, and they can launch impeachment in 2019 without a single Republican vote. It only takes a majority of the U.S. House to vote articles of impeachment against a president. And we know that there have been some Democrats that have already tried to introduce those articles just for our viewers, and I'm sure you're all um, very quite informed, but we'll just do it anyway just to be thorough. The, uh, this is the, in the United States Constitution. The president, vice president, and all civil officers of the United States shall be removed from office on impeachment for and conviction of treason, bribery, or other high crimes and misdemeanors. When you look at that slate of potential offenses, treason, bribery, high crimes and misdemeanors, where is the the peril for Donald Trump? Well, I think certainly high crimes and misdemeanors. There is already, as I pointed out, as strong a case for obstruction of justice against Donald Trump as there was against uh, Bill Clinton. And virtually every Republican in the House voted an article of obstruction against Bill Clinton. Mm -hmm. An article of obstruction was voted by the House Judiciary Committee against uh, Richard Nixon for the same kinds of things that we've seen Donald Trump do. Interfere with an FBI investigation. Try to corrupt and manipulate the institutions of our government. In addition, I do believe that the special counsel is very likely to come up with some serious financial crimes that Donald Trump has committed. Why has Donald Trump refused to release his taxes? It has nothing to do with the taxes being under audit. That's no bar to releasing your taxes. And there are decades of taxes that are no longer under audit that he certainly can release. And then, of course, there is the Russia connection. And I don't want to use the word collusion because that's kind of like bursitis, you know. <laughs> <laughs> any kind of pain in, in, in the body. Right. I use the word conspiracy. I believe there's a fair chance that the special counsel will prove that at least implicitly there was a conspiracy between the Trump team and the Russians to rig the election in favor of Donald Trump. Why else during the transition is uh, Mike Flynn, his chief foreign policy advisor, so anxious to call the Russians and talk about easing those sanctions. And why did so many people on the Trump team lie about it? The circumstantial evidence is already very strong, and I think Mueller will present a lot more to shock us. You know, a lot of uh, people who follow the show uh, often ask the question whether Mike Pence um, it can possibly continue to quarantine himself off from these investigations. And if, in fact, Republicans or Democrats were to decide they'll impeach them both, would Democrats ever take the risk of making Paul Ryan president by <laughs> impeaching Donald Trump and Mike Pence? Well, that might be another you know, reason why Republicans might go along. I think they'd much <laughs> prefer Paul Ryan to uh, Donald Trump and may maybe Mike Pence. Yeah. You know, Mike Pence is either the most clueless people we person we've ever seen in politics or is deeply involved because he's repeatedly lied to yeah. the American people over and over again. Alan Lichtman, I think you give a lot of people either hope or terror because the idea of <laughs> President uh, Paul Ryan means bye-bye Social Security and Medicare. Uh, Alan Lichtman, thank you very much. I appreciate you. More, more AM drive after the break. Any